Hi, yeah. folks. This is Doyle Dykes, and uh, I didn't say anything about it on the song, but Return to Avalon has been requested uh, for months for me to do that. I finally got a new camera, and I'm going to do my best to teach this. And if you will, by the way, push subscribe on, on there's, a, there's a button on there if you'll do that, and give us a good like, and that's our pay. That's my payment for that. So if you'll join and tell others to join uh, our YouTube channel, that'll be a blessing to us. And uh, I can reach a whole lot more people and not have to kill myself traveling all over the world. <laughs> However, I'll still do that. Um, but uh, Return to Avalon was written uh, years ago when I was, uh, I had recorded Avalon, you know. Love that song. Let's say Jimmy Capps said that's his favorite ending. I don't know. Uh, that's, uh, I got bragging rights on that, folks. Jimmy Capps, what a player. Uh, but he would always play with that with me at the opera or wherever we would play together. Uh, Avalon, we love that song. But I th I, there's a lick I would put in there myself. I made it up. Instead of that, I would go. That could be a song in itself, so I made that up this. First part, it goes as, and this it bounces off that second string being open. So it goes from A and then a G, but you still have the uh, uh, your A string on your first string. That's already a G, but it has an A up top. Like, and then I hit my, you know, big speed. And so the, the bass. This is a tricky song. I wrote this years ago, but it's tricky for me, and I uh, I need to play it more often, but it's a tricky song. And to get those uh, bum, 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 and those counterpoints, I lift up a lot when I mute my bass. seven but with a B up top second string open so you're just kind of catching the the chord as you go and then and then let up and, then, and that's an a7 d7 uh, moved up two frets c7 moved up two frets to a d7 now that's a d7 with an f sharp in the bass and it starts off with a g7 where you in the, and watch my thumb So you're, it's counterpoint. The whole thing is like a bass. 
you're playing the bass, of course, but uh, but you you have a lot of emphasis on that five. <laughs> It's G7, and then 4 over 5, or it's an F with a G in the bass. And then you sharpen that uh, uh, C note to a D flat. And then pick the first string open. And then a G7. And then and your, your bass just gets right in there. movement all the time. Again. Now this is real tricky. back to C. <laughs> I don't know why I, write, I heard Chad Atkins say one time, I don't know why I write songs that's so hard to get up and play. And this is one of those. And uh, I, don't, I, I even hate to say the Lord gave it to me. <laughs> but, uh, and, but I think he did. But it, he, And then he taught me how to play it. So uh, anyway. Yeah. every time but I'll show you what I do on the next lesson hope you get that thank you there are a lot of you young guys especially some of you kids are amazing to me how, how well you catch on and not only that guys like me have been playing a long time too so uh, you know you can you never stop learning and uh, once again give us a good like on there and, and, and hit subscribe that'd be a blessing to us thank you